Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of the Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I am Jeffrey. And I'm Keith. And the rest of you are very lucky because today we are doing some serious fishing. We're not even joking about it. This is serious, serious business. What? We, two, two casts and two fish? Pretty much? Well, well not, not quite. One lost lure and three or four casts oh, that's and right, two right. fish. Yes. I, I, I remember that thing. Like, wow, that was a big cast. <laughs> I did. I was like, wow, I went, I went out a long way. It did. But it, it had no line attached to it. <laughs> it's always wonderful. But we are one-to-one -one right now, yes. everybody. One-to-one -one on uh, on today's little uh, fishing challenge, which only puts me back by still two, I think. Something like that. For the season. Um, but it is exciting. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. For all of you who are local here in Utah, happy Pioneer Day. Yes, happy Pioneer Day. Yes, it is a, uh, for those of you not in Utah, it is a, it's a state holiday yes. today. Um, it's our well, for some people. For some, well, we're an, we're a we're a national company. That's right. We're, we're not a state company. We're, we're not. A, we're a national company. We're so, not local little mom and so, pop shop. So no, we are not. We are not off today. We're just off I'm today. <laughs> we are celebrating Pioneer Day by making sure that everybody understands the the beauty and the glory and the power of these motors here. Yes. That is that is what we are doing to celebrate Pioneer Day. Uh, so yes, Happy Pioneer Day. Wish everybody in Utah Happy Pioneer Day. This is the day. Oh, I should have looked up how old we are right now, but it's old. But it's pretty old when we became a state. Yes. On July twenty fourth. I googled. Eighteen no. I don't know. <laughs> I, I do not remember. Somebody Google that. And put, yeah. Somebody, somebody Google that and let me know. Yeah, it's been a long time. All you Utahns out there should know. Um, but we are here out on the lake. We are going to be taking questions. Yes. Okay. And if you have any questions from last week, we I thought we would have a little more participation with our uh, our painter Kevin and his, some of his. Uh, I also, little, I also thought we was. His ideas, but I know some of it we just can't divulge. Yes. Because of... Uh, like the burning questions were kind of, we skirted around them quite yes. a bit, I can tell. I know, but uh, that was really fun, though. Yes, I, really, was, I, really I learned a little it. bit, too. You know? Oh, yeah. He's such a good guy, too. He's uh, really nice and always willing to help. Yes. And, you know, teach us what we need to know. So that was really good. Uh, but, yes, you're going to take questions. Yes. I have some things to give away. Okay. Are no. you going to give away one of these really nice, coveted Excel hats? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I am, actually. I'm going to give one of these we away. We haven't given one away yet. We, these are kind of hard to come they're, by. They're precious. They're precious. They're precious hats. No, I've got... These ones are a little less precious than the Digi Camo ones. Yes, those and are I do really have, hard to get. I am going to give away one of those as well. Okay. Um, and I was thinking a brown one. And maybe a shirt. Whatever I don't you know. Want. I'm, feeling, away I'm feeling pretty magnanimous today. And I want look the two, the three people who won last week. Two of them responded instantly with their their information. Yes. And winner number three, I can't remember the and, name. And their stuff went out and everything. We were we were on it this Ex last week. Except for the I one did guy. I didn't. Here's my problem: is that we're gonna have to like write it down on your phone or something like that because I did not bring my trusty trusty notebook with or me. Pen or paper? I left it in the car because we're out in the middle of the lake. Who needs a pen and paper? But apparently, I do. <laughs> Um, so we'll try and make that work out. But yes, we are going to give some stuff away. Um, we're going to kind of continue to fish a little bit while we're out here. The other thing that I want to talk about on today's program, I want to get back into uh, duck hunting quality versus quantity conversation. It's 92 degrees. I'm not thinking about duck hunting. When is there a better time to talk about duck hunting than when you're out fishing? When it's late <laughs> September, early October, and no, by that time it's too late. It's too late to help and change and yes. and uh, do what needs to be done. So it, it is. It is about that time for the guys who are, haven't been using their motors to uh, start getting uh, some fresh fuel, change yes. oil, all of those kind of things. So yes, guys, start thinking is. about that because uh, August first is next week. Oh my goodness! So it's getting close. It really is getting close. And the shop's getting busier. Ian and the boys were a little bit busier this week. But uh, they could be a little bit busier. So well, if you're thinking about it, oh, man. quit thinking. Yes. Pull the trigger. Pull the get trigger. Get your local that. dealer. Get your new HDR 40 or yes. the Magnificent 50 behind I'm us. Just gonna lever this up a little bit so it doesn't cut your head off so oh. much, Keith. I'm on the I'm on the lower cooler. Look at me. Here. Let me look here. All right, that's are we better? That's gonna be a little bit better. So, all right, and if you can't hear us, hopefully you can hear us a little bit better. We got the camera a little closer, so hopefully that's all good. We're still waiting for the warranty mic to come back. Oh my goodness, that stupid mic. Um, we also, I also, I brought the, the drone out today. Oh. Um, 
if you saw my post earlier today, I posted some of that uh, that drone footage that we caught when we were up at uh, Deer Creek. Deer Creek with that big old fish. If you see it, that big old fish just swims by right in the middle where I, while we're on lunch break. Yeah, I, I didn't even see that the first time. Jeff showed me. He's like, check out this video. I'm like, that's really cool. There's junk in the water. He's like, forget the junk, Keith. He goes, look at the fish. He rewinds. I'm like, that's a big carp. Oh, a big us. old carp just slowly goes on by, and that camera was pretty high up. Yeah. So it, it was. It, I it was. was, a nice uh, fish. It was I was amazed that you you got that that carp in that footage. On oil. That's that's how good I am. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Not however true. it worked, it, worked, it looked true, good. <laughs> All right, let's do some shout outs here and then we will j dive into some some heavy conversation. You ever watch um nope. out? <laughs> Shut up. Oh. Um the Grand Tour? No. The uh the the Top Gear guys their new show? No, I haven't. So they always, they have what they call Conversation Street and they do a whole a whole thing if oh. you've seen it you know what i'm talking about but you don't know i'll have, so to, have to check it you out you have to check that out but that that's kind of us we're going down the the steep road of conversation street conversation street. yes that's what we're doing um we got uh, travis is on with us hey travis travis madden he is the man that means you really can ask your questions because travis will answer before we do travis will answer them before we do but we'll try and get to both of them travis also knows a lot about the turbo so if you have questions about the new turbo kit that bp has on offer now is a really great time to ask those questions yes. um, we got Frank Williams on Frank Williams is a big fan we're a big I'm, I'm a big fan of Frank Williams as well how about team Jeffrey any of the boys uh, out there I haven't yet? seen but let me let me get there I got to scroll through we got James Stevens is on um, Frank asked how's the weather out there today it is hot 92 and I don't know what the humidity is but it is high that that's the thing and you know we complain about the heat but you guys that are in the humidity it really is so much worse we rarely have high humidity days but today is one of them and it is makes it stifling. so much worse oh man it is brutal um so yeah but it's really hot it's a little overcast but it's it's really really nice uh, okay your thing kind of is going dark Oh, uh, Nancy is on. It's Pioneer Hello. Day. Not when Utah became a state. What's, what's the know, difference? The Isn't that when came, Pioneers? No, Pioneers just came in before they were a state. It was later down the road. When we became state. a state. So yes. Pioneer Day is actually the day that they arrived in they the valley. Arrived. This is the place. This is the place. Yes. Was that day. Nancy's got me covered on this. Nancy's a school teacher, so she does she know. Knows. She does know this stuff. Thank you, Nancy, for pointing all out my faults. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, very good. Um, James McDowell, sweet hat, thank you. Um, Luke Powell would like one. Well, we're going to give one away here in a little bit, Luke Powell. You come I'm up with give a away... really good question, and it could be yours. Yes, I'm going to give away one of these gray ones, one of the digi camos, one of the brown ones, and I've got a, a shirt to give away like as well. Like the XL shirt you're wearing? Not like this one that I'm wearing, because these don't exist anywhere. This is a one-off. But uh, just like the Mud Buddy ones, those, the short sleeve or the long sleeve yes. performance gears. Those are nice. Yeah. That's what I need on now. It's whoosh. Um, Rick is on. Hey, Rick, how's it going? Oh, we got in. Ricky is on. Firebug, Ricky. Firebug. Oh, hey, hey. We want to let you know, Ricky's wife had a baby on Monday at about 11:15. Another little girl. I'm not gonna go into the how many <laughs> kids. Can you help me out with the digits of kids? I've got 10 plus one. That's 11. So uh, congratulations so, to yes. Ricky and Candace on their new baby. Ricky, super, super congrats. That's really, really exciting. I hear everything is going really well. Baby and, and mom are doing excellent. So everybody, big high five to Ricky. Um, and his, he will never see him again. Probably not. He's supposed <laughs> to be back to work tomorrow, but I'm not going to hold my breath. No, 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 no. And that would be okay if he stayed another day. Although after we said all that nice stuff to Ricky, he's like, they pretend they know stuff, LOL. <laughs> I know I do that know I'm sitting stuff, at the lake and you're about. at home with kids. So. <laughs> uh, throw him off the boat if he isn't thinking about duck hunting. That's from James McDowell. Exactly. Who doesn't talk about duck hunting? You should, there's never a bad time to talk about duck hunting. That's true. Clint and I were talking about that oh, yesterday. We were going to pick up his car, talking about uh, some new stuff. And 
there's a lot of new gear coming out, you know, so all the companies out there that we get uh, emails for and magazines and catalogs, they're really amping yeah, up. It's, everything is, it's, it's go time. It's go time, man. It it's is. go time. It is here. I, like I said last time, I've been watching some of our older videos that we shot from last duck season, and man, it just, it just... It tugs at the old heartstring, you know. It's like I can't wait to get back out there. It's a little cooler. Oh, it's a little cooler. And then it's you know, darn it's right cold. It's so cold out there, and you hate it then. But right now, that sounds so good. <laughs> get down to about 32, and a little breeze. And the birds are flying. Frank Williams asks, "How is the boat running?" It's actually running really, really good right now. I don't even know how many hours we have on the beast. Wow, Not as there. many as we should. I know we've got some other running to do on it oh hey we're at 20 hours 20 hours 20 everybody. hours the boats yes. but not even here when did we get the boat i don't even remember it's almost a year old almost a year old yeah almost out of the year that's right they stole and sold our they, other they boat and we had to regroup <laughs> really quick but i think we got right. the better deal oh yeah no we did our other boat was nice but this is no 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 this yeah. pro we were you guys every now. everybody we were motoring through the through the bay as we were coming out and there were some younger gentlemen coming in out a little tiny little tiny fishing boat little aluminum boat and they're standing board. up there like captain jack on the thing and we're, we go by him and they're like oh salty assassin <laughs> yes he's like salty assassin that's so cool <laughs> and then we said mean things about them after. yeah <laughs> just kidding we didn't um but no we love this boat we absolutely yes. absolutely love this boat it is it is the, the king so um all right let's see uh, Luke Powell, I think I have a problem. I talk duck hunting all year. No, that's not a problem. That's normal. That is normal behavior, Luke. That is absolutely normal. That's okay, Luke. There's other things worse. Okay. Oh, okay. Frank King is on. He says, what's going on, guys? Catching any. Took my XL out today. That's so awesome. Um, we are. We're tied one to one. one to and one. we've only been out here. We got a little, we got away a little bit later. Yeah. So we've only cast, you know, four or five times, really. Keith caught his on his first cast out, which was a little heartbreaking. It had me a little worried, but I caught one right well, after. I was just hope glad we didn't get skunked because that just bothers me. No, that always, that always does suck, but it, it could be good. I, yes. This spot is actually pretty good, and this time of day, I actually think is is pretty good too. So he's out running his Excel. Why yeah, don't we, what? Why what don't we throw him? A, an I like Excel it. Hat? Yes, very good, Frank King. Okay, I gotta write this down somewhere. What are you gonna write it down on? I don't know. Rick? Hey, Frank. Hey, Ricky, are you watching? <laughs> write down Frank King. Yes, Ricky, if you're PM watching. Us. Frank King, send me your, uh, just PM me on this. Um, I will really try to, and Ricky, write that down as well. Frank King. Frank King, Excel That's the hat. Excel, the Excel gray hat. Gray hat. Yes. We like when right. people job. are out oh, there. Oh, Laura is watching. Laura, you write that down too. Yeah. Laura, please. <laughs> Frank King, Do me a favor. Excel gray hat for yes. Mr. King. Awesome. Keep staying on track, Laura. We need help. I know. I, that's nice of her to do that. Uh, Brandon Smith is on. Would be nice to be on the water. It is really nice today. The only problem with being on the water today is that it is crowded. Uh, yes. We, when we came pulling in, I'm like, why is it so busy? Then I get that little reminder. It's the yeah, holiday. It's a, it's a holiday. So yes. most, a lot of people have it off, so it is... Busy. It's busy, busy out there. Yeah. A lot of skiers, a lot of tubers. Jeff Mullick, Team Jeff is on. Sorry, he said he's been waiting. Oh, no. Team Jeff been waiting. I'm sorry, Jeff. It's taken me a while to get through, but Team Jeff, we got Team it. Jeff We're here. here. Uh, Ricky has us. He, he wrote that down. Okay. Very good. Um, Rick, uh, what blind do you recommend for XL boats? Um, I like, because where we're at, the fast grass from Backwater yes. Performance works really good uh, because most of the stuff we hunt in is Phragmites or cattails. Yep. That seems to be the best one around here. I'm sure other parts of the country, they use the um, shaggy pattern. Uh -huh. So either one of those, just depending on where you work. Here in Utah, pretty much everybody runs the fast grass. The fast grass. And it's a, it's a great setup, it works well, and it's not too hard to put together. No, no, it's I. They're great. They're great little blinds. You can get those at BPS. Yes. Yep. Call Travis. Call Travis. He'll he'll hook you up with one of those. Um, but really, I would just look around at what what a lot of people are using in your area and what's popular and what the what the background is. Yeah. What your weeds are. What your weeds are or your trees. Uh. <laughs> 
you got a funny? Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I'm not going to say it, though. But Andy Johnson, that's hilarious. You're a very funny oh, guy. Oh, Andy the Boat Doctor. Yes. Hey, how was that show in Louisiana? You know, I, still, I still never remember that. Oh, you don't? Andy always comments, and I'm always like, yeah, I like this guy. And we're like, oh, yeah, it's the Boat Doctor. Andy. Andy is a good dude, man. He's he is funny. a very good dude. And you know what? I hear he makes a mean Cajun dinner when he comes to Utah. But I've never been able to sit at the table. Yeah, but when he sends that king's cake, oh yeah, Mardi yeah, yeah, Gras, that Mardi Gras. Is I love amazing. king cake, man. Uh, yes. Andy, so maybe we're either gonna need that recipe, or you're gonna need to hook me up in some some uh, yeah. way. Yes. Okay. Uh, um, uh, we got Rich Usler, uh, Michigan here. That's awesome. Team Michigan. Team Michigan. Uh, Nancy says Team Keith every day. I mean, but every day though, Nancy. I mean, maybe it's time to mix things up a little bit. I'm just saying. Ethan Nimmer, wish I was on the water. I know, man. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's nice. a rough life out here. It is. Every Wednesday. Oh, do we have to go to the lake? Oh, we got to pack up and go down to the water. The only time it's bad is we were out here, what, a couple, what, what day last month, and it was real windy and choppy. It wasn't a lot of fun. No, that was not as fun. That was not as fun. Uh, Team Jeff has helped us out, how, uh, sent a message to Rick um, with a pop-up blind link. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know much about that, but uh, thank you for helping, for helping out. Um, Nancy says, Ricky, congrats on the new baby. Congrats on the new baby. It's a good time. thing that little baby looks yeah. like her mama. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. That's smart. All right. I want to, um, while I'm taking a break here, I do want to get back into this conversation. Have you thought any more on this? So the original question that we asked probably a month ago um, is what do you prefer in your duck hunt, right? Do you prefer, do you want to hunt more times in a season or would you rather have a better quality hunt when you go out? Well, if you want to make sure you're getting birds, and if that, you want to do a good quality hunt, you got to do the, you got to do the hard stuff. You got to start looking and chasing them. And, you know, it's not just sit at the office or wherever you're at and run out and shoot a bunch of ducks. There's a lot of work involved. Sure, Me, it just depends. I mean, sometimes it's about quantity, and sometimes it's about quality. I get that. I'm not, I'm, I'm not big into. Um, oh, that's my buddy Sid. Yeah, from is, that is. Hey Sid, is he, I mean, watch this. Denied. I mean, Sid, <laughs> come on, you know. You know where we are right now, Sid. It just kind of, it just kind of depends. If I've been out quite a few times and I've shot a lot of birds, then I want to go for quality. You know, get, uh, I'm not I'm not a sky buster. I don't I don't like taking long distance type AT and T shots. It's just not my kind of thing. I like them locked up and loaded coming in, and when you stand up out of the boat or out of the cattails and. They have that look of fear in their eyes. Probably not so much when I shoot, well, but when I shoot with Clint, because he shoots yes, really well. So he shoots it's well. just one of those things. I mean, towards the end of the season, I'm just about shooting the birds. Well, I don't know. And of it's course, just... our experience is a little bit different because we have so many days. Yeah, we have 107 our... days. Yes, yeah, so our hunt is a little bit different. But I want to hear from the rest of you who are in different parts of the country how you feel about it. I mean, if you if you're able to get out you know, 50 of the 60 days. And I'm sure there's guys who get out 60 oh, I know they 60 do. Our, our good buddy um, from from Echo Calls. Freddie. Freddie and Rick Freddie and, the boys. and Rick. Yes, Rick out there. He, uh, I mean, he, he'll do all 60. He'll yeah. get out every day. Um, so for them, I mean, I would imagine that they would pick that quantity. Right. They just want to be able to get out. And if they had 70 days, it would be better. Yes. And if they had 107. And if they had 107. Maybe they wouldn't hunt so much. Maybe then they could look at some some quality but is what spurred on the conversation right is that things are changing weather patterns and the way hunts have been going governments and and all sorts of stuff everything is just kind of changing and evolving and it always will but how do we how do we keep our sport growing and enjoyable for as many people as as possible and when changes start to happen what would you rather and for me, I know what I would rather, but I do want to hear from everybody else. I think this is a... I think to keep the sport going is to educate uh, people that you take out. And if you're taking somebody out and you, for the first time, educate them. Just don't run out there and throw them out to the, to the marsh or the boat and just let them blast away. Educate them. Show them why you're setting up your decoy pattern and your spreads, what you're doing, so that they know when they go out on their own, 
they're not just running out there and messing up for something. They're setting up 50, 60, 70 yards from somebody. You know, you want to you want to educate them. Yes. So anytime you take out any newbies and friends that want to think about getting into it, give them some education, a little bit at a time. You know, I go with Clint, and he's constantly always like, I'm doing this for this reason. I'm doing that for that reason. Do I pay attention sometimes? Yeah, I do. But sometimes yeah. I don't. But it's different where I hunt a lot where it's a private club versus the guys who are going out and hunting public land. Yes. You know, there's a lot more pressure on on uh, public land. The weekends are always just packed. Because those Wednesdays where we went out, we rarely ever ran into anybody. We'd see, what, two or three other boats out farming yeah, today on a you, Wednesday? You could hear them, yeah. but they, they were never close. We rarely ever even got close enough to say hi. Yeah, so... But, um, so I've got Mark Stobe. Uh, he says, for me in Michigan, I would take quantity. Even if we don't shoot a bird, it was worth it. Nothing better than being outside. Amen. That, and hanging out with the guys you want to hang out with. You that know? Ma might be the, the best answer I've heard so far to this question. Because I... That it's not necessarily about knocking down right. birds. That it's the experience. Yeah, you don't take people hunting that you don't want to have a conversation with. You're not going to take your enemy, or maybe you will because maybe they won't come back. But right. most of the people you go with, they're good friends and you can hang out. So if it is a bad shoot day, you've had a great time in the boat or in the marsh or the timber, wherever you're hunting, just because it's with the guys that you're hanging out with. Absolutely. It's better when you can kill ducks, but if you can't, you know, you've had some good conversations, some laughs, mm -hmm. you know. And, and and you're not at home or at work? Or right. And everybody's playing on their phone as, a, as the birds go flying by and you get buzzed again. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, it's it's kind of like, uh, what was it, two weeks ago when we were carp shooting and you were playing with your phone. And oh, I'm man. Like, Every Jeff, time. I wasn't Jeff, playing on my phone. Did you see that fish? He's like. Oh, Every time I pull out my phone or, or my camera, I was trying to take pictures and get some good And that good was content. a big fish, And too. every time I did that, a fish would swim by. Yeah. Um, but Mark Stop, thank you. That's a really great question. Mark Stop, I'm going to send you a the Digi. Digi. I'm going to send you a Digi Mud Buddy HDR hat. Um, so Ricky or Laura, whoever is watching, if you write down Mark Stowe. Those are really hard to come by. Those are the most rare of rare hats. I sell them for $19.95 on eBay. <laughs> No, is that where they're I'm all joking, going? No. Jeez. I actually, I have one. I've had it. It's hidden in my closet, so it'll probably never be worn. Yeah. It's just so rare. Yeah, very rare. I think I've got the last box of a few up in my office. <laughs> so, uh, that's excellent. Okay, let's see. Luke Powell. Where I hunt ducks, a lot of times you have to hunt as much as you can. Public hunting is tough. Breakfast and stories help make up for the slower bad days. Yes, yeah. they do. No, I, that's absolutely hunting, true. Hunting by yourself to me would be really boring because you can only talk to yourself. And if you answer yourself, that's not good. So we always got to go with at least one buddy or two and breakfast in the boat or the, the pit blind, whatever, yeah. wherever you're shooting, you know, yeah, always makes it better when nothing's happened. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, I do have a question from Rick. He says, um, what hole do you recommend for running rivers and small tributaries and shallow back cuts? Well, I would, we run in a 1750. Yeah, this is this is the one I would absolutely recommend for that. This is a 754. 1754. 1754, sorry. Pro 1754 hole, open pro hole. Um, Keith really loves the open floor pro hole. I... I'm a well, different, I, I like the regular F4, the shallow water F4, just because it's got more boxes already built into the side. I like I like the storage. And that works great for all your camera gear, but yes. when you've got three dudes, guns, boxes, decoys, yeah. the more open the better, I yes. think. And that's the just, everybody's got their own preference of perfect preference you know is nice one of the other things that i like about that shallow water as well is that you can get it in 100 gauge yes versus the uh, one, two, five. the 125 um, out, he out here in utah and especially the way i use the boat i i not in as as chunky as stuff no i i like to do a little more fishy so the 125 is a little it's a little, little more than i need and so you're roughly around probably 40 to 50 pounds yes i'm guessing i'd have to ask Boss Bill, but right, but it, but it works in this pro hole because it it's a lighter boat. It doesn't have as much storage, so you know you're kind of a trade off is, for what you need. But I would definitely say any any of the F4 models is going to be really great uh, for any kind of 
shallower water or narrow. I mean, these pro holes are, I mean, they handle quick. They, they, they turn cut, well. They, they cut hard. They're really, really great. So uh, that's what I'd say, Rick. Rick, any kind of should we send Rick something? Sure. You know, I was or going to. The thing with Rick is that I think he, he owns everything <laughs> I have. He has everything that we have for free. <laughs> so, Rick. <laughs> Rick, maybe next week. <laughs> yes, Rick, you know, I just need to get you some something. When I hit something new, Rick, that's when you'll you'll get it, I'm sure. Um, why is your thing I so dim? You've got like the dimmest. It's an iPhone, man. No, where's your glasses? No, it makes it worse. I get that weird because they're polarized. I get that weirdo thing on it. Um, but uh, good. That's a. Uh, that's about where we're gonna. I think end it. Unless you've got more questions, um, we could just leave it on, I guess, and try some fishing. See if we catch any more. Or, or less. Or we could. <laughs> I mean, it's, we've only been going for half an hour. Yeah. Twenty-five minutes. It's okay. I kind of ran through all of my stuff really quick. Um, so let's get some more questions, y'all. Do you want to throw out? I mean, you could. No, go ahead. All right. I mean, you're behind. All right, here you. Uh, I'm not see. behind. It's. I can't it's see. Right. Well, one to one, you, you but gotta, you're still behind overall. You gotta figure out. You gotta figure out what your uh, phone is doing. Why it is all dim. It says Jeff, go to display adjust brightness. Who said that? Let me uh, guess, Ricky. Rick Hillicost. Oh, <laughs> no, it's it's his phone. I can't unlock it. I can't I can't do anything with yeah, it I while it's... I, I can't see because I don't have my glasses on. So. All right, you watch everybody. I'm going to pull this bad boy in right right here. He's I'm not going to catch a fish. I'm going to look like the bosses of all bosses right here. Hey, Glade, Harris, how are you guys doing out there in BPS land? Oh, man, he should be out here. I wonder what he's doing. He might already be out. Are you out fishing, Glade? Uh-oh. What did I just do? Yeah, see, that's why I try not to give you the phone. I just go back to my buddy live. There it is. I also have some that I'm going to try here in a little bit. I've got some, a little chicken nugget that I had for Oh, lunch. you saved some of that chicken nugget? I did. I, I, saved a little, I saved a little bit of is it. Is that a fish or is that a snack? No, it's just a snack. That's the funny thing here with Utah Lake being so full. We're actually fishing, which used to be shoreline about a month and a half ago. So it makes it a little bit tough. Makes it a little tougher. So guys, if you're looking for a Mud Buddy HDR 40, HDR 50, long tails, minis, we have them. If you don't have them in stock, we can build it really quick. Yeah. Ian and his crew of men will put them together screens. really quick. <laughs> They've got a lot of parts just sitting there ready to rock and roll. Probably the best shape we've ever yeah, been we in. Yeah, we are more prepared. In the 12 years I've been with Mud Buddy. And we have been, so it's really, really good right now. Hey, um, that's an empty door. I know. Um, did you see, uh, did you see Jay, shut up. Did you see uh, Jay Paul show yesterday? No. I see was, a little uh, bit of I was actually working on the floor yesterday because if Ricky wasn't there to help us out with uh -huh. some tech stuff, um, Keith uh, had to go out and help the boys on the floor. I had to get my hands oily and gassy and haven't done that in a while so it was, it was fun though it was good it was, good it was for you hot to get and back. sweaty down there but it was it was nice get back into the uh into the groove yeah jeff said you're you're about right he has just about every hat <laughs> that my buddy has i know uh, and ricky says he's building a really bad a super long tail right now really yeah he'll, he'll send that he'll send some pictures at and i've actually at the hospital yeah and i've actually got the uh couple of uh, doing the uh, 23 tall and a 23 short long tail yeah. so I should have some photos of that probably tonight or tomorrow for you going back to some old school mud buddy back in the old days where we just used to line up 40 50 frames of long tails and drill and tap and pound and bang and in some aspects we haven't we haven't el or, uh, changed the, ele the evolution of how we do it it's still some of the old way Let's see, Luke Powell said they just had their public line drawing over the weekend. We got lucky and got a draw out for our spot. Cool, way to go Luke. It's always nice when you can get your spot. Here it's just get up at the crack of dawn and hope you beat everybody else to the yeah. lamb. Yeah. Unless you're private, private land hunting. 
Did you tow that car I off the front I of the sure boat? did. <laughs> Got a little, uh, little axe. So if, I, if I start screaming here really, really soon, it's because I've got a. Where'd it go? I'm not sure. I got a little. <laughs> You got a little situation. I guess I'm not gonna fish right you're, now. Hold you're on. hung up on the uh, trolling motor, up over the light. <laughs> it's almost Jeez. like one of those basketball shots. That was over I know. the light around the trolling motor, and I'm not gonna reel it in because somebody's gonna get hurt. Seriously. So I don't use this pole very often because I'm letting you use my nice one. So sometimes my. And Ricky yeah, said that. Uh, Somebody was uh, telling him about uh, our little job adventure yesterday in the shop. Oh, yeah. Re Enrique has a little mole out there. He tells him what's going on. Uh oh. Nancy says, read the rest of Luke's post. It's, it, and he says he got his lucky spot. If it weren't for my mud buddy, we couldn't get to our spot. Lots yeah. of mud and no water. So that's why it's called Mud Buddy. Mud Buddy. It'll get you through buddy. the mud, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. Hey, we appreciate you. We love our mud buddy too, as much as all of our mud buddy owners Ooh. do. Fish on? Oh, oh he, he hit it. Yeah, he hit it. Come on. I almost had one there. Luke, tell me um, what, tell me if you've got a shirt. I, I have a shirt to give away. One of the white ones. Luke, Luke if you, do you have a, do you have one of those, do you white, have one of those nice mud buddy white fishing shirts? Let me know, Luke. Let me know, Luke. If you do, well, I think we have short sleeve, long sleeve, and shorts and extra larges. About all we yeah, have left. Like, yeah, they're... and the, they run a little bit big. So if you're a if you're an extra large guy, a large will fit you, or just go with extra large. I use the extra large because I need the extra large. <laughs> oh, just reel it all the way in. I wasn't watching. I was distracted by that boat right there. Huh? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, let's last cast. See what happens, and then we'll call see it a day. See what there, and see if I can't pull this in, and we'll call it a day. He says, yes, I do, but I'm not picky. Do you have a Mud Buddy hat, Luke? Let's try a hat. Well, I'm sure he doesn't have the Digicamo. Maybe I'll... Oh, how about one of those Digicamo HDR hats? All right. HDR Will that work hat. for you, Luke? Let me know. <laughs> and Ricky says, nothing happens in Mud Buddy that he doesn't know about. So he has a he has a somebody a snitching us out when he's not there. Actually, we're just doing his work while he's not there. Yeah, I mean I don't know what. Oh, Luke says, oh yeah, he wants the digi hat. Digi hat. All right. Okay. Ricky, Ricky or, or, or Laura, Laura, write that down. Luke, Luke Powell, Powell digi, digi HDR hat. Digi HDR hat. And I guess and I'll Luke, keep the make shirt sure for you, myself. And those guys who won today, make sure you uh, PM. Jeff, and get your address and all that information so we can get you out. Jeff did an amazing job last week. The two guys who replied by the time we got from the one shop into the other shop, we already had their addresses and stuff, and Jeff sent out the uh, merchandise the next day. So, well, I think what, that's about it, bro. You're not catching any fish. I'm gonna as soon as we hang up. As soon as we hang up. Oh, that's okay. I'll take um, a picture of it. it. All right. All right, okay, guys. Everybody. Well, thanks for Hold hanging on. out with us today on the Utah Lake in the Salty Assassin with 20 hours. Again, <laughs> 20 hours. <laughs> and happy Pioneer Day to everybody else out there, all you Utahns. And uh, we'll be back next Wednesday, next week. same place, same time. And it'll probably be just as hot. Oh, man. Welcome to summer. Thanks, everybody. We'll catch you next week right here in the shallow water.